Well guys, I'm getting ready to head up to Vermont. We're just waiting on a package so that all the truck's all loaded. Got food, got clothes, got all sorts of other stuff. Got the computer, but under all these covers, I've got a live scanner under the blanket back here, I'll show you. We've got batteries. I mean, a ton of batteries back here. Got Bass Boat Technology mounts. Got my light. We've got the parts, all sorts of uh, pieces, cables, brackets, you name it. Got it all ready to go. Got tools. Like I say, the truck is fully loaded. I mean, loaded. So we'll uh, get on the road here in a few minutes as soon as the pack the delivery makes it. And then we'll uh, show you a little bit more as we go. on a Ranger, a Rick's Ranger, and it's a DV, it's a um, 620. It's a, it's a big boat, you can tell, you know, my shoulder, it's a little bit taller than my shoulder on the trailer here. So what you have in the foreground there is some of the stuff we're putting in the boat. But basically what we're doing is we're gonna be putting a, we're gonna redoing the console, redoing the whole power system for the electronics. We're adding a separate electronics battery, a separate charger for that. We're replacing all the batteries in the boat with, with lithium batteries, okay? We're going to then, on the bow, we're gonna put a, a live scanner on there. Sorry, I forgot the name. Uh, so that's gonna go on the trolling motor, which is an Ultrix 60 inch trolling motor, so that goes on there. We're also gonna add a dual bracket mount from Bass Boat Technologies. So basically, we're gonna do a whole lot of little up updates to this boat. And what I'm gonna try to do is take you through some, at least some of the uh, insulation process and show you some things. Hopefully uh, it won't be too boring, but there's a lot of little minor details that I'll try to over, um, you know, basically voice over some of this stuff or, or put on titles when I, when I do the edit on this. But I I'd like you to at least follow in and, and see a lot of little details that go into a boat rigging. I mean, my background is electrical engineering. I'm an engineer. And you can probably tell when you start watching how I do things. I'm, I'm slightly, um, I overdo things. I wanna, I, I'm also a tournament angler. I've also had equipment fail on the water because of bad wiring issues, because of batteries dying, things like that. And I'm trying to, when I rig a boat for somebody else, I make sure that those things do not happen to them. If something happens, it's gonna be, they're catastrophic, the boat goes under, or something like that, or they just simply forgot to charge batteries. But I'm trying to make it so that when we get in these rough conditions, like for example, I'm over here right next to Champlain, I can see Champlain during the day, and it's pretty rough out there. If you don't have the boat rigged correctly, then you're gonna have problems. It may not happen today, but it will happen over time. And I've seen it over and over and over on big water, especially Champlain, Lake Erie, Lake Ontario, all those big waters that we have up in the Northeast, that's the type of stuff that I try to rig for. So that when you take it to say a simple little lake, you know, in your home state there, that's you know, just a small one, you shouldn't have any issues, but then now you take it out to the big lakes and you're still not gonna have a problem. You can run, you can, you don't beat it up, but you still basically have a boat that's rugged. All right, okay, thanks. So anyway, I'll take you through the process. 